don't never slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Alright everybody, this is where I went to school at In Newburgh, home of the Wolves Newburgh Wolves And behind Mindy there is a, one of the oldest school buildings It's not the oldest, it's the oldest one's been torn down but it goes all the way down there. Down there is the elementary, and then the junior high, and then high school, and all this and that. But I just wanted to show you guys a minute um, uh, where I went to school at, and we'll, we'll show more of the buildings and stuff. And if you want to get a shirt like this, the link will be in the description, and you can uh, click on the, the link, and it'll take you there. But uh, this is a. Uh, the town I grew up in, this is school I went to. Of course, like I said, I was raised on a farm about, about 12 miles south of here. But uh, a lot of memories here. And uh, a lot, some of the buildings have been changed. But and some other things have been added. But a lot of it's still the same. This here, right here where I'm showing, it used to be covered up, but you could walk straight in there was no doors or anything it was just like a a shaded area between connecting the buildings you want to show the old yeah the knowledge of power this was uh built in 1940 so it was built like 80 years ago uh, some of the other ones are older but uh yeah, this is the school the high school yeah, this is the high school. I don't know if I want to record the elementary. No, I don't, I don't. this is this is it, and um, this is a, you see the sign that says "Home of the Wolves" mm -hmm. and everything. Green was our color, you know. Mm -hmm. It's kind of different than where our kids went to school at. Not only were they not the wolves, and they were not green; they were blue jackasses. <laughs> mules. Mules. <laughs> they was called the mules. Hmm. But I like making fun of them on that. But anyway, that's it. And um, I guess that's good for now. Mm -hmm. Life is but a Talks prison here. We're in the town that I grew up in, in Newburgh, Missouri. Where we're at used to be a school building and they tore it down. They put this gazebo up and everything. But the school is on down that way and we'll probably show some footage of it uh, later. But sorry for the traffic too. I'm not kind of loud here, but this town's pretty small. But I've always liked this town. There's people who, who tell me that I grew up with, they tell me they don't like it no more, they try to stay out of it. I grew up about, like 12 miles south of here. But I figured while I was here, and we're doing this and showing a little bit of Newburgh, I tell the story about Kevin. I told you guys about Kevin, I was in prison with him. <laughs> and uh, so I get to, Licking South Central Correctional Center before he does, and I'm there a few years, I think six years before he gets there. And he shows up there. Anytime you get transferred, you got to be in a, you got to go to food service, and max anyway. You got to do 90 days in food service. Well, he did like a month and a half, and he tells me, he goes, I said, when you get to 90 days in, I can get you a recreation job. And he goes, um, I can't do this food service. So we're out in the wing, and we're sitting against the wall. He goes, Harvey, I'm gonna put my hand down on the floor, and I want you to stomp on it. So, I tell him, I said, Kevin, 
you don't want me to do that. He goes, yeah, go put your state boots on. Come down here and stomp on my hand. He goes, I would do it for you. He goes, we're brothers, right? I mean, what are you supposed to say to that, you know? I tried to talk him out of it. So I went and put my state boots on. Came down there and he put his hand down. He goes, man, just let me psych myself up. Finally he said, I'm ready. And I stomped as hard as I could on his hand. It hurt me. And um, I mean, he is all he could do from screaming out. Anyway, he went to medical. Got a medical lay in. And he didn't have to do the rest of the 90 days of food service. And we got him in recreation. And uh, he, uh, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by people moving around. Um, got him in recreation, and he is still in recreation. Been in recreation since 2009. And I don't know what happens if he'll go to the hole or something, if he'll get his job back, because the original boss used to, if you went to the, the guy who ran recreation, if you went to the hole, he would hire you back when you got out of the hole if you was a good worker. But they got somebody else now. But anyway, I wanted to tell that little story, and I'm going to cut this short because traffic is really thick for this town.